Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is Terry from Jensen. It's good to see you again. And today we're going to be talking about our new high fusing structures. But before we start, this is a quick one. So I want everybody to be on the edge of your seat. Only five minutes, so I won't waste a lot of your time. Just think of it as an investment on something that's a really good product that's new. And I've had the luck to be able to use it now for, oh, better part of about a month and a half. So let's go ahead and get started, if you would, please. Okay, so the new high fusing structures, we have window and enamel, and these fire a lot higher than the original standard structures. Like I said, this is going to be quick, only five minutes of your time. So here's our firing chart, and we, we gave you some suggested firing temperatures, but you really need to work these out in your ovens. And I suggest you do to make sure it works right. The main thing you're going to see is, is that the temperatures up from 710 to 760 with a full minute hold. So this stuff will tolerate a lot more heat. Now, we have it done like we've done other times where we have for small cases, the medium cases, we're dropping the high temperature, but we're also dropping our climb rate five degrees a minute. Okay. And this will look just like your low fusing material or your standard fusing material, except this will be much higher and it'll enable you to fire meal on top of it without messing with this material. And in the largest cases, we're going to go up to 750 with a 35 degree climb a minute. Now, you don't have to use vacuum start at 510. As long as you've got it dried properly, you can have your vacuum set and your low temperature be the same. Lithium disilicate is still not conductive, so you're going to have to raise your low temperature, raise your high temperature, but your climb rate will be 50 degrees a minute. This material is very user friendly. So some of the techniques we're going to show today for using the high fusing structure, we're going to apply and fire the high fusing structure first. We're going to put the Mio colors on it afterwards and fire them. Then the second way we're going to do it is, is we're going to take the Mio color and we're going to fire that first. And then we're going to apply the high fusing structure on top of it and fire that afterwards. And the third way is we're going to apply the high fusing structure first and then before we fire it, we're going to put a thin coat of the in sync paste glaze on it in a wet application and then float the Mio colors on top of that and it's all going to be fired in the same cycle so you have three different techniques I think the most popular will be putting the structure down first firing it and then coming back and putting the color on top of it. So we're gonna look at the way these things look. So in direct light, you can see through the enamel third that the window is much more translucent. And with indirect light, you can see still the enamel is a lot more of a whitish look. Now the windows are true clear, but the dimensions that we're gonna be using, it's not gonna lower value. The enamel is a whitish translucent. It's for younger people or for low chroma, high value situations. The handling, you're going to mix it by shear thinning like I've showed you in the past where you pat it because you don't want to get air bubbles in it. And like other structures, you're going to reconstitute if necessary with the in-sync paste glaze liquid, but you can shape it smooth with water. And remember, you can blot this material like porcelain, but because of the liquid, it's going to take about 15, 18 seconds for it to blot to a sufficient situation where you notice a difference. I want to caution you, due to the high translucency, you want to look for air bubbles or dirt or specks to make sure that you, you don't have them in there before you fire. Okay, so with the technique number one, we showed on the zirconia crown, a high fusing structure first. We apply it, contour it, then we're gonna fire it. There it is coming straight out of the oven and I put it on a little peg so you can see it. But wait, even I got some dirt in the surface. Dirt does not burn out in this material. So you're gonna grind out that spot or an air bubble and fill it in with the high fusing structure, slightly wetter than normal so you don't trap air in there. Okay, and there it is, finished restoration with repair and meal color added at the same firing. So how do you fire this? If you're just using high fusing structure, the same cycle, but only a ten, zero to 10 second hold. And if you're using, uh, uh, you can use a color cycle as long as you mix some of the standard structure in with it. Okay, now we're going to apply the Mio color for the technique number two, and we're going to fire it. 
Then we apply the high fusing structure. The enamel kind is applied on this one. And after the firing using the high fusing structure cycle, you see what it looks like. I got my furnace dialed in. Rather than go through a whole different cycle that takes about 20, 25 minutes, I rubber wheel it and polish it. That takes you about six minutes. So technique number three is adding both of them. I've applied the high fusing structure. I'm going to put a very thin coat of watery paste glaze on it and then float the meal colors on top of it. That way it separates the two and as fired, you see it coming out of the high fusing structure cycle. So some observations. This is a great tool to have because it handles like structure you used to before. All three techniques work, but I think if you can put meal on the top, it makes it a lot easier, particularly in offices, dental offices, and you're just going to like this material. I told you I'd keep it brief. I'm going to tell you right now, the original structure is a great material to use, but particularly for operatories and things like that where you're not sure if you're going to have to add color or anything like that, you can use the high fusing structure on top of your fired Mio. And if the doctor has to add some color in the office, he or she will be able to do that. You have less of an ability to have these things melt out like we're used to with the standard structure if you fire it too high. With this, if I'm firing the high fusing structure a second time rather than the minute hold that we saw in the uh, the quick start guide where it says to hold it for a minute, I only hold it for about 10 seconds, anywhere from zero to 10, maybe 15, depending upon your furnace. But just remember, this material is a lot more tolerant. I think you're going to love it. I've been using it now, like I said, about a month and a half, two months, and I love the material. This is Terry for Jensen. Please stay tuned. Follow us on Facebook and come visit us next time we're on. Thank you very much for your time.